John T and Dave Joe, how chat to Denzel Bentley. How are you doing, Denzel? I'm good, thanks. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, mate. What have you been up to? A whole lot of things. <laughs> Firing circuits, everything really. Last hard session, so I'll put it into there, yeah. Yeah, so your fight's next Saturday, I think, isn't it? Yeah, next Saturday, yeah, yeah. Of course, I'm going to come on Saturday in a minute. First of all, we'll talk about the actual gym. Yeah. So, what do you think of the new Peacock gym? Oh, it's good, man. Sick. I love it here. It's nice. Different. Uh, we ain't got a way around for sparring. There's still loads of boys, so we'll look like we're out here We all get along, we're all having fun. It's nice, man. It's good. It's good. It's good. It feels a bit more exclusive, but it's more just pros, so you get yeah, yeah, yeah. shoulders with everybody. Yeah, yeah, you don't get key fitters coming down, which is alright because some of them, a lot of them sort of support, they buy tickets and stuff, so it was nice to have them there too. But it's, this is just, it's, it's more, it's better for us because we're concentrating more, we're more focused, we're more, it's just us. Like, when you look to your left, you look to your right, there's another professional fighter trying to make their way through the scene rather than just another key fitter that's using a machine that you can't use at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good stuff. Well, look, we'll come on to your opponent in a minute, but I've just watched you do. How many rounds did you do sparring then? Uh, ten. Ten rounds. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit about who the fuck starts sparring because it looked like one of you was a cruiser one. Yeah, 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 the last one. Um, I had the first, the first, the first, my first part was with John Hedges, he's tall as south, it wasn't really ideal, but he was here and I see we had something different, which is good. It making me think, it's, it's all about concentration, isn't it? So, when I'm in there, he, it's, it's something different, so I've done a couple rounds with him. Then next was Sean Phillips, Southern Area Champion, so that was good work, he came to pull it on me. He's my gym mate, but there's no friends in there. He came to pull it on me, done a few rounds with him. And I've done my last, my last three rounds with uh, Tom McIndelly, cruiserweight, coming through as well, just turned pro, but unfortunately he can't get a fight because of the whole corona thing. So he come out there as well, he's my good friend, but I told him, pull it on me, don't feel sorry for me. If I'm tired, take me out of there. And that's what he came to do, he came to pull it on me, and obviously I had to kind of stick in there and try and ride out the last few rounds to make it 10 rounds, and I, I actually felt good, so I'm happy. Yeah, fair play, you yeah, yeah. take the power, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for anyone out there in Delta, because you're so powerful, and nick me every fight you're going to knock out, yeah. I think you showed me definitely you've got a good engine there. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 yeah. And you might need that come next Saturday, yeah? So yeah. coming on to next weekend, you're fighting uh, Mark Heffron, mm -hmm. uh, and you're fighting for the idea. European title, was that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you expecting from Mark? I'm expecting a good fight. I'm expecting, a, I'm expecting a very good fight. I'm expecting a better version of the version that fought Liam Williams because um, everyone says you, you learn more from a loss than you do from a win. So I'm, hope, I'm, I'm guessing he's learned from that. If he hasn't, that's his problem and he's going to have to deal with it on the night. But I'm, I'm, I'm guessing he's learned from that. I'm not expecting a washed up Mark or a Mark that's done for or whatever. He's an experienced pro. He's been in the game 10 years, 26 fights, only lost to someone that's about to fight for a world title. But I'm, I'm, I'm expecting him to have learned from that fight and bring something different to me on fight night. But then again, I'm going to bring something different to what Liam Williams brought. I'm a different fighter. And I feel like my skill is superior to his and I'm going to win. Yeah. It's a real excitement about the fight. Yeah. Anyone else about to? Because a lot of people think it's a 50-50. Yeah. I've just checked the prices. I don't know whether you want to hear this or not. But they've got <laughs> slight odds on favour. Only slightly. That's it's good. good. I don't mind that. That's good. That's, that's fine. I, I, I expect it to be favourable. He's done more than me. He's, he's done more than me in, in terms of fighting for the British. He's a, he's, a, he's a former British title challenger, so I don't expect him any less. And, and he got stopped, but it wasn't like he got he got stopped early. He got knocked out. He, he's done well since then. He's had a win every fight. So I expect him to be favourite. I'm not really bothered about the odds. I, I don't look at the odds to see, oh, he's favourite, so it means he's going to, I mean, anything. They probably don't know any much more boxing than anyone else in the street, so yeah, they're just getting by records and what they see on the telly and stuff. And of course, I've had less exposure on TV, so people have seen less of me. So I'm not expecting anyone to think I'm favourite anyway, because he's been more out there. He's had more facts and telly. People see more of him. More people know him. Got a bigger fan base. So I'm expecting him to be favourite, but that's fine. That doesn't bother me. Do you think as well with um, Felix Cash being more of the the name that people do know that after yeah. this fight people know you more as well? Yeah, if yeah, you do win the, the the title that's, as well. I've said this a few times. If um, Frank and Eddie can 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 work out what they've been trying to work out successfully. Um, a few a few shows back and forth, then I think it'll be easier to get that fight, and that's the fight I'll call for next. If if they can work successfully, I'll be the night. It will just be a back and forth, so there'll be no point because there's another side of thing. But if they work successfully a few times, and I see his game well, I'm going to push for that fight, and hopefully he can get made too. It was a but good I'll, poster that come out as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was you on there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, I, I'm, just, I'm surprised they didn't put me on there, Felix, but it doesn't matter anyway because. People that know boxing know that would be a good fight. But at the end of the day, I still got to focus on Mark Heffron because if I don't win that fight, the talks of Felix Cash don't make any sense. So I still got to focus on Mark and, and, and do a job on him. I mean, when you were last out as well, uh, behind closed doors, mm -hmm. um, how much did you rate your own performance? And then what was I, it? I didn't, rate, I didn't really rate my performance. I gave myself a seven and I ain't for stopping it. But performance wise, I gave myself a seven because I, I just didn't feel sharp. I didn't feel like things were flowing. I felt like I forced a lot of things. 
I was getting hit a few with a few shots, uh, getting annoyed when I got caught, and I let him. He was talking to me, and then I let him get to me, thinking I'm going to hurt you now, and and that's not me. But I guess the whole build up to thing, being at the gym, not just the ring, being at the gym three months straight, not being able to box, punch, not even hit the pads, coming out fighting in that less than eight weeks, six weeks, whatever, preparing for a fight and just getting out there, the whole like being anxious to just get in there. I think that played a part as well. But I'll be a lot more relaxed this time around, a lot fitter because I've been in the I've been in the in the gym consistently, and I'll be able to, to perform better. It made a big difference as well, didn't it? Like you just said, with lockdown, loads of fighters gave a very similar response saying, look, because of the lockdown, yeah, I couldn't it. really you've get out it. and stuff. I was one of the first shows back, so I think I was the second show back. Yeah. Second. And everyone was criticising, or a lot of fighters were criticising my performance. A lot of fans were like, well done, you're done good. A lot of fighters were like, oh, you don't look that good. Da -da -da, beat him, Mark will beat him, blah, 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 he didn't look that good. Oh, yeah, he gasses out, he does this. And then when they got on, they didn't do any much better than I did against opponents that ain't as good as Mick Paul. So, at the end of the day, You've seen it for yourself now, so I've got nothing bad to say about them. They've experienced it. Well done. I hope they go back and think about it. But I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do the whole Twitter thing and start calling out saying, "Oh, look, you struggle too." You know what I'm gonna say? It just is what it is, and I don't think there's been a handful of fighters that's, that's given a good performance. That, on, like, and literally, like on one hand, I can count on one hand how many fighters are given a good performance during lockdown, and it just goes to show that the lockdown affected almost everybody, not just me. Yeah. Oozing confidence is always being cool. Yeah. Well, we look forward to next weekend. So, yeah. uh, thanks for having us down. We'll come and see you after the fight, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah nice one. Thanks, fuck, man. Well, you can come see the new belt, too. Hit <laughs> <laughs> the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, from Title, Betting Shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, or promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.